so what we can do is we can go ahead and say it's going to be like that plus the reason that I'm saying plus is because it's all the values here is negative and the pitch value is also positive so then you want to uh, subtract something from a negative value you plus it with a positive value so I'm going to say plus pitch value the pitch is a distance between the lines and as you can see now it's upper for one pitch value so it's not going to uh, basically be on top of each other now it's fine if you go to the next line you want to copy the values of the first point and put them there and then the x value is not going to be minus width it's going to be plus width but as I said minus pitch so it's going to be all the way here to the pitch so let's go ahead and continue that for the next segment it's going to be uh, plus length But in this time, we're going to make sure that we are subtracting one pitch because we are in the second term. And over here, we have all these values that we put for the end point of the previous segment for the start point of the next segment. And we copy that, put it for the end point, and we know that this segment should have a similar y. So we wouldn't change the value of the y, but we will change the value of the x, and we will invert it basically. So we minus width plus width plus pitch. Sorry, and in that case we can uh, basically subtract one pitch from the width. And let's go ahead and do almost the same thing with one different. The difference is now we have to say minus there is no length we divide minus length and then we should say if I say minus pitch it will go and put itself on top of the other line okay so I'm not going to do that sorry it should be plus pitch of course because pitch is a uh, is a positive value so if I say plus pitch it's going to uh, be the same level and as the first turn so now it's the time to start and subtract two pitch from this now you can see that the line is going to shape up and for this one I'm gonna make it the last uh, segment of this coil um, uh, we are going to have the same uh, Y for that but the X value is going to end somewhere uh, before the the middle point of that so I'm gonna say minus uh, let's call it two pitch okay and uh, you will see why I'm saying minus two pitch later on but um, let's go with this now I'm going I'm going to jump on top of our wires or traces if you are doing it with the PCB and go over here down here and then make my second per terminal to do that i'm gonna i'm gonna jump up go all the way to right for one pitch and then come down while i'm the while, while i'm uh, i'm uh, on top of these wires or traces and then go down to the same level and the other traces and then continue down to the terminal to do that I'm going to right click on the last create line and select insert segment after and a straight line and I'm going to insert, insert the, the, the segment that I want click on that so the segment that I'm going to have is going to have the same X and Y uh, but the Z of that would be uh, I'm going to call it Y here uh, or you can call it whatever you want uh, so it's going to be the distance of the Y is going to be upper than the other segments of this coil via is going to be a new uh, variable so it's going to ask me what is the nature of that it's the length and it's going to be point for example um, 4 or point 3 millimeters okay now uh, I, I know that it's up 
you cannot see it here because it's in x y and it's going to be on up going up but if you turn it you can see that it's going up with the same x y but the z is the size of y higher than the others okay i'm going to come back again to the same point that i was i'm going to right click on that the last one and then i say insert segment after that and i'm going to say sister line and i want to go one pitch uh, to the right so it's going to be the same x and y and z but the the x would be one pitch to the right so instead of minus two pitch it's going to be minus one pitch so that's it okay now i'm gonna create a new line and go while i'm on top of the other while uh, i am on the top of the other lines i'm gonna cross the lines come down here so if, as you can see this is a distance of two tit pitch uh, down in the y distance so I'm gonna go here and translate that in the parametric way so I'm gonna have the same x value but the y value is going to be two pitch lower so I'm gonna delete the plus two pitch here press enter okay you can kind of expect that value since this uh, value minus 1.3 millimeters plus terminal was the end point of this guy here so the only difference between the end, of, end point of this guy and end point of this guy is the via and also minus pitch instead of plus pitch so now I'm gonna come climb down to the same plane that uh, the other segments are so I'm gonna just click somewhere and then copy the first characteristic and put it there and then get rid of Y and put it zero millimeter and uh, so that in that way I'm just uh, using another wire to come down to the same uh, trace uh, like let's say top trace uh, again in the PCB and press enter so again you can see it like this and now I'm gonna add another segment to that I'm gonna make it longer so you can see that it's actually changing the value control C control V I'm gonna get rid of the word terminal meaning that I'm gonna go down for one terminal and there we go we have a very basic simple coil okay now what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to give a shape to the coil if I click on the create polygon on the very top here and there is a cross-section uh, parameters here and the type here is known there is no cross-section type but if I, if I click and select for example circle and then I can give a diameter let me open this so you can see the description of each parameters so I can give um, a diameter to this let's say the diameter is 0.1 millimeter so there we go you have your coil that is like turning around and then it's going up coming here and go down and then you have your two terminals okay you can also select rectangular so it looks more like a, uh, a trace right so it's going up it's like the via here and to make it more realistic you want to give it some height as well and so instead of just giving it a width you can give it a height and the height is basically the thickness of the copper on a PCB so if you for example give it 0.1 millimeter again so you will have something like this and um, this is going to be the, the the coil that you're designing with a PCB so now you can change the value of uh, of these things so now what I'm gonna do is instead of width I'm gonna call it trace so this is the trace width it acts it understands that the word trace means something should be related to length so it guessed like that which is great of that program and then I it's call it value probably is going to be 0.1 because you already put 0.1 so 
this is very intelligent of an ANSOFT system here and uh, let's 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 put it like this okay and for this I can call it copper thickness for height so I can say the thickness for example and uh, the thickness millimeter length 0.1 awesome maybe make it smaller so make more sense to uh, design and then uh, when I'm saving it I have this 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 material uh, unfortunately right now this thing is in vacuum so I don't want to have that uh, so I'm going to change it assign a material uh, by right clicking on the poly line and then I'm going to call it you know you can you can, you can make it copper or whatever you like but right now I think I'm gonna go with copper and um, also I can change the uh, the color of that to something that looks like copper more um, so you can see uh, till here we have a good design for uh, for our uh, trace so now if I want to change any value I'll cl click on my uh, basically pr uh, project uh, symbol over there and then you can change everything for example if I change the via of what will happen so this is the via means that how much you're going up so if I change the via from 0.3 to 0.2 you can see it's changing right if you change the for example trace the width of the trace is going to change oh something uh, funny here I forgot to tell you so when you change the width, the, the trace width, you can see that the distance is also changing. That's why, that's because we didn't define uh, the pitch uh, uh, relative to the trace as well. So the pitch is basically trace plus the distance that we are going to have between the two trace. Okay, so the width of the trace plus the distance that we want to have. And since distance is a new uh, variable, we will ask what will be the width distance. And we say distance is a length millimeter, and it guessed that because we previously put 0.2, it says the distance is going to be 0.2, and this is very intelligent again of Ansoft. Yes, it's going to be 0.2, and then you press it, then it's defined accordingly. So now, if you change the trace, it's not going to uh, reduce the distance between the two trace. So if I put 0.1, same distance for the trace size of 0.1. If I put Point three, again same distance, but it's like bigger. And uh, now you can change the distance. Of course, you can put it point one instead of point three, and uh, you have more ability to change things. Okay. And of course, you can change terminal as well. So I can make it like point eight, so you can have longer terminals and all these things.